All right, folks, we're working on a uh, 915 uh, series truck. Let's be the same for all 915, 915A1, 916s, uh, only the standard with the 16 speed in the bigger trucks. Um, the Allison, of course, is A1 is the exception. Um, what we're doing here is we got a bad, uh, well, trying to figure out why the heater ain't working. So we're going to do a diagnostics on the, uh, Blower switch, blower switches are known to go bad, uh, along with the headlight switches. Um, but the blower, we do proper diagnosis on how to figure out what's wrong with if you got a bad blower, or if you got a bad uh, switch, or what's going on. Um, pull your uh, switch out. Gray is going to be power to it. Red is going to be for low. Yellow is for high, or medium, and orange is for high. Um, that's not actually, it's in the, there's a wiring diagram, it's pretty crap because there's no pin, there's just, there's no pin number in these damn trucks. Uh, it's a little weird. Um, this switch will get power, that gray wire will get power when the key is on. Uh, so, up under here though, we got a switch, a bunch of little accessory ports on it. So, we're going to do a little poking and prodding. Um, make sure what's got power, what doesn't have power. Key is on. So, yeah, I say that. Let me redo my ground here. Power, this is actually is accessory wire that goes out into the cab, out into the hood area. That's a ground. That's an accessory power, I believe, right there. It's a power, goes outside. Um, all these wires here got power. Coming out of it. I didn't find any loose wires or anything like that. But they're all showing good. So, but over here at the switch, we have no power into it. Alright. Low uh low blower power comes in through uh CB6 and CB9 is for high. They're both good. Um, so, I just want to go pull that apart. It's kind of a weird thing to do. Um, they're self resetting breakers, but I think we got probably got a bad wire somewhere. I mean, this thing's been in the field for about a couple years. So, what you do is run you a jumper wire. I have that black one right there. Put a spade on it and run it to the accessory up there. Um, so you have power when it comes on and then uh, Make sure your switch is off Maybe a little difficult to do with only one hand But Take your jumper strip it down Slide it in the back side of the gray spade right there bad problem there so what you can do if you don't want to go try to try your nine wires is just jump into that wire put your inline fuse in yeah 30 amp be just fine and uh or like that or put your breaker in whatever you want to do uh separate breakers are pretty good but um you know it's your choice if you have a problem with if you put power, if you have power to that switch and you have power coming out on each one of these when you turn an appropriate switch, I mean, of course, you know, put your test light. And I mean, you know, if you, you see there, we got power, power there now. But I mean, if you, you know, turn the switch over to, you know, all these different settings and you don't have any power coming out, then you know you got a bad switch. If you're turning it over, you have power coming out, but the blower's not working. You want to pull that box apart. Uh, we're not taking it apart, but you get, basically you get the blower motor in there. You have a couple wires, and just check to make sure you, have, you see if you have power going to it. If you have power going to that motor, then you obviously have a uh, bad blower motor. Um, blower motors are a little expensive, um, but um, it's a proper way to check it. So 
that's how you diagnose a um, heater switch. See if you got a bad switch, bad motor, bad wire, or whatever. That's how you diagnose it.